What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a new show featuring the guys who brought you West versus East. Uh, this is a new show we like to call The Breakdown. I'm the Knights of Four Anthony, and with me, like always, is my partner in crime, Eddie from Eddie Tame It. How's it going? So, let's do this. <laughs> So we got uh, The Walking Dead. It's going to be our first kind of um, series to talk about on the show. And uh, The Walking Dead just premiered uh, as of this recording two weeks ago. Um, so we're going to talk about the first episode. I thought it'd give us a little bit of time to kind of take it all in, um, really kind of review it and stuff like that. Uh, and the first episode of Season 9 is called A New Beginning. Um and we both wrote notes, or we both have a lot of topics to talk about. We're going to try to keep this under uh, uh, 20 minutes, just so we have enough time to talk about everything, and then it's not too long for everybody. So I'm going to throw on a timer right now to keep us uh, timed for 20 minutes, and that way we don't go over what we promised to do. And that timer starts right now. All right, so uh, the first episode we open up to... Um, all the groups, they're all united, um, and it's just honestly, for me, it was kind of weird. Uh, you know, you, you, you just saw this war last season with uh, the, the Saviors and everything, and, you know, the Saviors just treated everyone kind of like shit, and um, now they're all united with everyone. How did you feel about uh, everyone being united this time around? Um, it was interesting, and I think the, the show's kind of getting back to its original roots, but before we get to that, so the, the episode aired on October 7th, yeah. which was two Sundays ago, um, as of this recording. The first thing that we saw was a new intro. Yeah. So uh, a few things that I noted down for the new intro is, first and foremost, it, it looks cool. Yeah. Um, and then secondly, what it seemed to emphasize was crows which we saw also in the episode, yeah. as, where, as well as that like elusive helicopter that annoys the hell out of me. Oh, okay, because yeah, you don't know who it is yet, yeah. <laughs> and we've seen so many times. Yeah. Um, so the, the intro I thought was cool. They, they still kept to the original music, but those crows seem to be an emphasis as well as that helicopter um, of the, the big picture. So I'm interested to see if that means that we will finally find out who those people are this season. The Whispers, that's who we're talking about, right? The Whispers. They, if you guys don't know, and it's not really a spoiler this time around, um, in the trailer for The Walking Dead, um, at the very end when you see Rosita and them, uh, they're hiding in the mud, covering each other with mud and stuff like that. If you really pay attention and listen closely, uh, when the walker herd is walking by, you hear one of the walkers go, uh, where are they? kind of in like a zombie tone voice um and so that leads you to believe that this season the main bad guys are going to be the whispers um and in the comics they're they're one of the main bad guys too around this time after everybody becomes united and stuff like that so um yeah uh yeah so that new intro kind of threw me off guard a little bit um it's you know it's gonna take some getting used to still i'm used to last eight seasons you know they just kind of updated uh, just images and stuff, but uh, it, it's it's cool and I like it and I'm I'm enjoying it and stuff like that. Um, but let's talk about the and this ain't really much of a plot kind of um, uh, po point of the show, but this was kind of like probably to a lot of people the grossest point of the show was when they showed that zombie who had a bunch of insects in him. Oh yeah, I made I made a note about that. I put yeah. so my note says specifically spider zombie in the basement looks cray. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that looked cool, and uh, I just thought that we should bring that to a lot of people's attention because when I was on Twitter after watching this episode, that's all everyone was talking about. Like, this is a good yeah. episode, but what about that spider zombie that freaked me out? And I was yeah. like, yeah, that's that's some pretty freaky stuff right there. So, 
And um, it was cool, but the spider, the spider zombie didn't have eyes. So the fact that it was able to reach out and grab his leg, how did it do that? How did gross. it even see his leg? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that was pretty good. Um, so then we see the all the groups. They're kind of in the beginning. We think they're kind of getting along, um, and you know we think everything's good. Uh, in the first episode, they do mention that there is, uh, or it's not mentioned till actually the next episode, which we'll cover next week. But um, my my main question in the first episode was how long was the time jump between uh, the war that they all had together and um, where they're at now? So they do mention in the next episode, which we'll talk about but for this episode purposes. Um, they don't mention time jump at all. Like you don't know how long it's been since this war which was a big question on a lot of people's minds in the going into this first episode. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, with them getting along, they end up going to this museum um, and we see them, they're going for more supplies because it looks like with them being united, they're trying to share with everything, trying to equalize all the food, uh, water, supplies that they needed, as said. Um, and we see them go to the museum for for mostly just tools, and they and they found a lot of the seeds for crops and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And it's just on the bottom level is infested with walkers, so they're trying to get this. Uh, what was it? Um, it was a trailer, right? Or like a it was a wagon, like a wagon. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they're trying to get that out of the the museum. It's very heavy and like a very old kind of wagon. And they they have to go over this like glass platform and stuff like that. And being that it's so heavy that that glass platform won't hold for so long, so it ends up, uh, what is it, break, right? Yeah, it starts cracking, and then uh, Ezekiel falls through. Um, kind of talking about that, like it was kind of so. First of all, that's in my backyard, so I don't know which actual museum that was. I saw like she had like the little pamphlet, and it looked like it said the Natural History Museum, but the actual exhibits, I've been to the Natural History Museum, it didn't look like that, but maybe they just like changed it up for the show. Yeah. Um, but they're kind of like foreshadowing the the beginning of civilizations again with that like kind of like Western feel, the Western settlements, you know, they yeah. got horse carriages, they're all on horseback, um, you got that wagon, you got that tool that Maggie is getting that is for her blacksmith. I made a note of that too, like that, that tool that they got, what does that tool do? Cause she said she was taking it back to her blacksmith. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, so we also see they go and that's when we first in that, in that scene too, that's when we see the first insect zombie. Um, and that was kind of weird, but, uh, in that scene, we see that, uh, I guess at this museum, they've hoarded up like a lot of these seeds that were used uh, back in the day to kind of, uh, for food the same way. And we kind of see, uh, in this, in this, in the zombie apocalypse world that they're going back to kind of Western civilization. Like you said, they're going back from the beginning, like when our ancestors did and they have to go back from planting crops, start the world over again. And, um, we're seeing that a lot about this time around. The only thing that's changed is the fact that. Um, you know, that there's actually, uh, they actually have weapons and guns this time. That's the only thing that's changed about this world. But, um, everything is just going back to like the, like the medieval times and stuff like that when they had to, you know, grow crops and, and fight their way around and stuff like that, which was pretty cool. Um, also this season, they're, they're really focusing more on Carol and Ezekiel being a thing, which they kind of set up more, uh, in the last two seasons when they first introduced Ezekiel. Um, but this one, they're really trying to focus on it. If you guys, if you've been noticing, um, yeah, I think he wants it, to propose it, to her and stuff. And yeah, he he's still kind of like in his his king speak. You know, everybody knows that that's not actually it's a facade, but yeah. you know, he's like courting her still in that style. Um, and then you actually see that one scene where they actually kiss to confirm, yeah, they're together. Yeah, um, which was after he falls through in the museum and seems like he's about to die. Um, yeah. And, and also uh, another thing that, that I'm noticing, I don't know if you're noticing as well, you know, you got that, that new love story that's probably going to build and we're probably going to see a lot more of it, but also they've gone back to, you know, like you were saying, everybody's getting along. The new, the enemy now is once again, the walkers, not other people. Yep. 
And, yeah. Um, to me, to me, that that's part of what the the show had lost. It got too much into other people are the enemy, and even though it's called Walking Dead, you barely see the Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, but this first episode got right back into it. Hopefully, kind of keeps that original nature of the show alive. And the zombies now become the enemy once again. Yeah, I would love to see that again. Um, and then after that, uh, Rick and some Rick Darrow and a couple other people go back to the, the uh, sanctuary to check how things are going there. And we find out they're kind of running low on supplies, that they're going to need a little bit more to hold them over and stuff like that. Um, when Rick's, that's the Rick, well, that's when Rick says we're going to help Sanctuary get back on their feet and stuff like that. But we see something that kind of triggers, um, maybe the start of a war again. And we see this dickhead guy that we've been seeing and he's a lot in the last episode too. And we'll talk about him in the next episode. But, um, that's when we see the, on the spray painted on the wall, we are still Negan. Um, yeah. And that triggers kind of Rick and Daryl, like, what the hell is that? What's going on? I thought we were all, you know, cool and stuff like that. And that one kind of dickhead guy, I don't, I don't remember his name, but he uh, he's sitting there, like, Daryl tells him to take it off, and he goes, with what? It's spray paint. And, you know, he's kind of giving him an attitude and stuff like that, and you just know that guy's going to be a pain in the ass and stuff like that. So, um, and then later yeah, on, it- well, okay, go ahead. And it also goes to show that once people have been brainwashed, like Negan did, yeah. there's always going to be this element of brainwashed people, even when you're helping them out. Yeah. Um, and then we go we go back to the things that uh, they're still out with, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Rick and them. And one of Maggie's people who was, I think, with Rick helping him get stuff and all that, his name was Ken, uh, ends up dying. I think he gets uh, bit up by walkers and stuff like that. Um, and we find out that that's a major kind of story arc. That's one of the, uh, citizens, uh, sons and he ends up dying, uh, which brings us back to, uh, kind of tension between, uh, we see throughout the episode tension between the saviors and the other, uh, the other groups. Uh, people are still trying to adjust to this new relationship. We, we see that they're, they're having a hard time doing it because of what happened in the past. And it's just really, really still trying to just trying to basically adjust really is because um like i said they were just at a war like not so long ago and um they just out of nowhere stopped and started having to force to get along and stuff like that and they're trying to start this new world and it's really hard thing to do for them yeah and um with with that death it kind of leads to the arc of where maggie and Rick stand as far as their relationship. Yeah. Um, the, the kid dies. The parents are extremely upset. Um, actually, before we see like where Maggie and Rick are, that's where, um, what's his name? I forget his name. The guy that used to run the, the hilltop. <laughs> what's oh, his name? Gregory. Yeah, Gregory. Gregory is up to his regular conniving self. And... Honestly, that was a very satisfying moment to me when he gets caught in his lies and his plans of deceit yeah. that ended his eminent demise. Yeah. Uh, what would you think about that? Um, yeah, it, it was it was interesting to see uh, how they handled the situation as well. But, yeah, he ends up, uh, you know, they have a funeral for uh, Ken, uh, and the parents are there, and everybody's kind of sad and stuff, and, and they're having a funeral, and Gregory – you think has a change of heart in this episode where he comes up and says a couple words about Ken and and stuff like that and how it's sad that they lost another person. Uh, But then he ends up uh, sneaking his way back into uh, Ken's parents' house one night and forces the dad to drink, which causes him uh, to kind of manipulate him and saying, um, you know what, we should overthrow Maggie. We We should kill her. I can take back this place and I can make it what it was again and stuff like that. And he goes, hell, I built this place and, you know, I need to take back what's mine and stuff. Um, so that is that 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 was uh, that for for him. But before we get to the very end of the episode, I want to talk about something they've been kind of bringing up a lot in the first episode, which was uh, the reason why they're running low on supplies is was because um, I guess some storm kind of hit and destroyed and 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 took away a lot of stuff from them. Um, that being, uh, one of the major arcs in the first episode was the bridge 
they keep talking about this bridge that the storm destroyed and that was one of their main access points across to get everywhere faster but now they have to go around and do other ways and stuff like that um, and that sounds like the reason why they're running low on a lot of supplies um, which we get to uh, we get back to uh, Hilltop where we see Michonne and Rick there talking to Maggie um, and they come to an agreement that there needs to be... Oh, no, Maggie talks to Rick uh, one night saying that they need, there needs to be a new law system intact, in and they need, to, they need to follow that because that's how civilization was before. There was laws that you had to follow, and there was um, a, you know specific codes you had to follow and stuff like that, so they're trying to enforce a new law system, which uh, when they go to see Maggie ne the next day at the hilltop, they try to... Uh, inform her like listen we know that it, it's different now but if we enforce these new laws we have a feeling that it can make stuff better and we can do everything right this time around and stuff like that which Maggie starts to disagree with Rick saying that uh, sanctuary what did they do to us they, they pretty much in a way fucked us over all these uh, all this time and stuff like that and, and you can see Maggie is actually really starting to be stingy with her food and her supplies. She doesn't really want to give them to Sanctuary because she doesn't feel comfortable doing it. But she also has a she also has a good point because you know they're they're doing a good amount. She just lost somebody while trying to assist these people. And Rick also said as soon as like she starts leading, he would follow. Yeah. Right. And that that's one of like the the like main points in the conversation that kind of like show what the rift is because she brings that up and basically says, now it's time for you to follow me. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I, I like that a lot. And, and so, but if you guys don't know, before we finish the video uh, for the, the, the episode, they're advertising heavily this season of, uh, walking dead, the final episodes of Rick Grimes. This is going to be his final season. So we're, we're assuming that he's going to die or some sort. Maybe we don't know yet, but, um, before, uh, so after that, uh, we we go we, we're back to Gregory and that one man. I, I don't remember his name for the life of me, but uh, Gregory uh, convinces that guy after he gets drunk to kill Maggie, which he does end up trying to kill Maggie. He knocks over the baby and ends up trying to kill Maggie, which then Maggie stops him. Um, and then she goes straight to Gregory because she knows that Gregory was involved with this. And ma then at that point, uh, Gregory tries to kill Maggie. Um, and then Maggie ends up stopping him as well, and then that's when we get the iconic ending scene where they make a, a kind of a gallows, uh, uh, pull right there for, so they can hang people, and, um, Rick and Michonne and everybody, it's at night, they all come in, and they're all watching this, and then, you know, they're trying to convince Maggie this isn't how it has to be and stuff like that, Maggie... Uh, of course, after trying to after trying to be killed twice already, starts to disagree and says, "This is how I'm doing stuff, and and if you guys don't like it, well, you guys don't have to uh, be with you guys don't have to do what I do and stuff like that." In which case, she does have Daryl hang Gregory, but at that point, Michonne tried to stop it because the kids came out and they pretty much saw him get hung, and um, right after he gets hung and the kids see it. Um, you see on the look on of uh, Rick and Michonne's face that, wow, this is serious. I don't know if we agree with this. Uh, this is going a whole new way than we wanted. And then the episode just ends. Yeah. And um, so I got a, a bit of a different feel from it. I felt like Michonne and Rick were for it as far as, like, the punishment. Yeah. Um, I, I just thought that when the kids came into the picture – they tried to stop it to make sure that the kids weren't didn't weren't witness to what was about to happen. Um, but there definitely is some disagreement, and you could you could see that in the air. Yeah. Uh, as far as like the the discipline, I think that wasn't it necessarily. I think it's just other things as far as like who's leading, and maybe Rick isn't ready to pass that torch on. Yeah. Um. So with that being said, we actually finished on time with two minutes left. Um, which is good. Covered the whole episode and everything, so that's good. Um, we're going to come to the final portion of the video where we give out our final thoughts of the episode, what we think about the season so far, and how we feel going into it. Um, I'll let you start off because I was doing most of the talking this uh, episode. Yeah. And I felt. 
Yeah, let me talk, man. Damn. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I will say is for a first episode, not bad. Um, you know, it's it's hard to say whether or not the 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 series is catching its flame back up. Uh, but I did see some things that are indicative of it going back to his, its roots where I love the show, which um, was the fact that the walkers seem to be the enemy. Um, there's some internal like issues, but it doesn't seem like it's gotten too crazy yet. And the people who I think should be the, the main characters are back in their place. So like for a while there, Maggie was like pregnant for God knows how long. That's another... Uh, just a, a quick side note. She had the baby, so right. Yeah, they didn't show it. I think they. I think she had it like at the end of last season, or something. But that baby looks it's like it's already in. It's like six months or something like that. You know. She never had a baby bump, so yeah, that's that's the weird part about it. But all in all, I, I can't say that the show has me back one hundred percent. I am a huge fan, so I continue to watch. Um, we'll see how it goes, but. It was an enjoyable episode for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the, about the same thing. I I never kind of really lost the show. The show, for like a lot of people's main issue with the show is after they killed off Glenn, after they killed off, um, you know Carl and stuff. A lot of people, the viewership went down uh, drastically. I heard that this episode was probably one of the least viewed uh, episodes ever, especially for a season premiere. That's that's not good. Um, but Nonetheless, uh, I, I still enjoy the show very much. Um, I like it a lot, and I know a lot of people in my family are kind of start, start starting to stop watching it as well just because uh, they're getting either zombied out or they're just getting done with the show. But uh, I still I still very much enjoy it, and the reason that keeps me enjoying it is because of Negan, which um, has not shown up yet in the uh, season. So we will... Um, we will hopefully uh, talk about some some more Walking Dead in the next weeks and stuff like that. But final final thoughts for me, honestly, I, I really enjoyed this episode. And, yeah, it's going back to its roots. It's going back to uh, just killing the zombies again and, and stuff like that. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the rest of the season has to bring off, especially if this is Rick Grimes' final episodes. We have to see what's going to happen. We have to see how this is going to end. And, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching the first episode of The Breakdown. We have a new time system where we're going to try to keep it smooth and easy for you guys. Um, get you guys in and here, talk about the episode, and get you guys out. So, that's going to do it for the, today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining the Madhouse. Hit that subscribe for both channels. Thumbs up. Leave your comments below what you guys thought of the episode. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.